Now the state Senate is considering a bill that could make it much easier for workers from out of state to take jobs here in Wisconsin. JT Siskowski is digging deeper into how the bill could help the state's economy while harming Wisconsin workers in those careers now. Assembly Bill 332 passed the state assembly behind me in a party line vote on Thursday. If it becomes law, it could change the amount of available workforce within specialized industries. The bill would make it much easier for people who have out of state occupational licenses to get approved to do that work in Wisconsin. Republicans say that the measure helps Wisconsin's economy by getting employers the staff they need. There are people from other states that are trying to move here and work and then they sit and they sit and they sit without getting approved. This isn't a gotcha. I would be more than happy to talk about what a great job Governor Evers does if he signs this bill. Democrats argue that Wisconsin should not lower its standards for who it allows to do a job. And the state should fund the Department of Safety and Professional Services to approve more new licenses. The vote on this is no. We don't need universal licensure recognition in the state of Wisconsin, especially when we choose not to give a department its dollars. In an email, the Wisconsin AFL-CIO claimed the bill would, quote, undermine the safety of workers and consumers, depress wages and lower standards. And Wisconsin keeps filling a lot of job openings. The state had a record high of over 3 million jobs last month, an increase of over 4,000 from the month before. Coming up tonight on 27 News, we're digging deeper into Wisconsin's economy and we'll hear why a business advocacy group says so many Wisconsin employers are feeling pessimistic. In Madison, JT Siskowski, 27 News.